Learn about creating a web project which will not have web.xml. As per Java EE specifications, currently we can create a project which will not have web.xml. To do this, we need Eclipse and Tomcat. I do have downloaded an Eclipse which is the latest version of it and this is Eclipse Luna. And we will be creating a project which will not have web.xml, still it will work. To do this, the first step is to create a dynamic web project. Click on File, New and you will have a dynamic web project. If you cannot see dynamic web project, you can go here, click on Others. You still can see. We'll give this project name as EE because it is enterprise application. When you do next, you can see a source and further doing next, you can see web.xml is an optional thing. If you click here, it will generate one web.xml for you and I'm skipping it. Once done, you will see a project being created here. At this point of time, you will only have one source and library. This library contains web app libraries and we will. what we will do now, we will try to add server to it. To do so, go to properties and there you can find targeted runtime. So here there is no targeted runtime here. Let's see if we do have server. You can create a new targeted runtime. I already have this. From here, I'll try to add Tomcat 7. So do next. You can download and install or either you can browse and give the directory name. I have kept the same. I've kept the path ready. It is at e server. All you need to do is to give the base directory where your bin is there. Do not give bin folder, always try to give the base directory. Once given, you can do finish and it will add Tomcat to this. I'm adding targeted runtime here so that we can run this project on Tomcat Server 7. Now you can see you do have Tomcat libraries are added to it. So at the first step, what we need to do is to create a class which will let this application know where our servlets are. To be very simple, we need to create a servlet. To do this, I'll create a class called app servlet. I'll put this under a package because it is already saying as a warning that you should use default. Uh, the use of default package is discouraged. So we, I'll put it inside a package. Now we do have a package inside our source library and we do have a class also. As we all know that uh, to make it servlet, we need to extend it to HTTP servlet. So we cannot see HTTP servlet class here. Is strange. So once done, what we will do, uh, so it is currently extending to HTTP servlet. In order to, because it is extending, it will ask you to have a generate a serial version ID. You can use the default one. And now we will do write our do get and do post method. But you might be actually wondering how will actually it uh, hit this particular servlet. In order to do that, we do we, as we will be doing it all through annotations. We need to do this is the annotation which we will do. This 
tells it that it is a servlet and if you go here you can see the different parameters that you can give for the servlet there is url patterns once done which because it is patterns you can give multiple patterns but we will be giving here only one in this example and giving the base package so once the application starts it will hit the base package and uh, it will hit this particular servlet we'll write our do get method here Now since this overrides you can see this there is an icon like this anyway we will be trying to write some code here we will take a print writer object and we'll take this print writer reference from our response object you can see that get writer is there once done you can see that this is asking there is an error here because we do we are not catching exception so we'll surround it with try catch once done we should actually have a finally method here not required but as a good programming practice we should have it we'll close our stream which we have opened Sorry, this out object could can be actually can be out of it. Now, with this out object, we'll write a simple code. And let's close this HTML tag. So we're doing nothing actually, just we are trying to write this into our JSP. So JSP should come up with hi. Let's see if this code does run. It's asking which server it has to run. We have to run it on this one only. What I'll do, I'll try to use this option so that next time it does not come. So you can see it has come up with high. That's conclude this tutorial.